हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम लोकनाथ टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट ह्यूमन ग्रोथ एंड डेवलपमेंट एंड दिस इज पेपर टू ऑफ होम साइंस ऑप्शनल ओके पेपर टू होम साइंस एंड यू नो दिस इज वेरी स्कोरिंग पार्ट एंड वेरी टेक्निकल पार्ट आल्सो एंड दोज हु हैव biology background they can do very well and others also can do if they have clarity of their concepts and in this particular pet you have to draw figures you can draw figures you can use some technical words and so that you can fetch good mark and get good mark and get good score by that way you can get a good score in your optional that's means you are getting a good ranks to friends uh, as it is written to human growth and development as we know that human growth and development take place since the conception till the birth that means we can say mother's womb to the tomb that means womb to tomb that means graveyard mother's womb to graveyard that is total development though growth sometimes some year after the some after some uh, span of time some years after some years the growth uh, uh, stuff ceases in the human life still the development or cognitive development or spiritual development psychological development intellectual spheres that go on develop so friends uh, but actually the words two words are written here growth and development what is the meaning of growth and development sometimes you get confused and take it similar same as growth is synonymous to development but that is doesn't correct the thing is that growth is a quantitative concept growth is quantitative that is it is a quantitative concept but development is a qualitative concept ये राइट तो ग्रोथ इज ए क्वांटिटेटिव एंड सॉरी ग्रोथ इज एस ग्रोथ इज क्वांटिटेटिव वेयर एज डेवलपमेंट इज ए क्वालिटेटिव व्हाट यू मीन माय ग्रोथ इज क्वांटिटेटिव एंड ग्रोथ इज क्वालिटेटिव क्वांटिटी दैट मींस वी कैन क्वांटिफाई वी कैन मेजर द ग्रोथ बट वी कैनॉट मेजर द डेवलपमेंट बट सम एक्सटेंट वी कैन मेजर द इंटेलिजेंस बट दैट इज नॉट इन दिस कॉन्सेप्ट तो ग्रोथ मीन्स दैट मीन्स फिजिकल ग्रोथ मल्टीप्लिकेशन ऑफ सेल्स डिविजन ऑफ सेल्स एलोंगेशन ऑफ बॉडी स्ट्रक्चर एलोंगेशन ऑफ ऑर्गान्स सो मास ऑफ सेल्स गेट एनलास्ज सो बाय दैट वे वी कैन मेजर वी कैन सी दैट मीन्स वी कैन से बेबी कैन ग्रो इन टू अ चाइल्ड चाइल्ड एडल्ट 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 ओल्ड एल्डर लाइक दिस सो दिस इज हाउ वी कैन डि क्वांटिफाई दिस इज क्वांटिफिकेशन मीन्स वी कैन मेजर that means it is a growth but development means uh, development is another concept that means we here our mental sphere our spiritual fear our cognitive level and is socialization process everything go on development that means it is moral uh, moral that means if you take uh, i you can understand make you understand that if it is your hardware part and it is called the software if you will take example as computer then this is your hardware part and this is your software is it right development is a software and it is hardware so it can be seen it can be measured but growth cannot be seen necessary development cannot be seen or can't be measured it can be felt only due, uh, due to behavior and and near it surrounding respond to the surrounding behavior uh, like this so let us forget this is the what quality again speaking this is a growth is a quantitative concept and the development is a, a qualitative concept but friends now we are going to uh, develop uh, uh, what growth not we in this period uh, growth i have already told you what is the difference between growth and development and now we are going to discuss in this particular video how growth generally takes place how growth takes place friends you know that generally the human life cycle human life starts at the time of conception their life begins at the time of conception 
when what do you mean by conception when a woman conceives that means sperm combines with ovum forming a zygote and that a process is called fertilization so fertilization is the process in which fusion of male gamete and female gamete take place pro producing forming a single cell that is called zygote and that zygote develops multiplies rapidly rapidly develops multiple a number of cells a ball of cells and that cell is called like or morula blastula blastocyte like this and when this blastocyte stage at the blastocyte stage actual fertilization take place in the fallopian tube fertilization take place in the fallopian tube otherwise called the oviduct of female uh, reproductive tract reproductive part reproductive organ but at when the at the next within the 24 hours of conception fertilization within the 24 hours fertilize what happens the fur the zygote the cell the egg goes on dividing rapidly forming a ball of cells a mass of cells and which is called morula okay that morula again divides forming is a fat four like structure in the middle fat four like structure that is called and the cells around the uh, all the better that is called blastocytes so at this blastocyte stage at the blastocyte stage the what i will write i will draw the figures if to explain let us draw the figures so friends actually human growth human growth is divided into three parts that is called prenatal growth prenatal prenatal growth is it right that means growth prenatal before birth before birth of the baby to pre prenatal natal means birth to prenatal that means before birth and perinatal perinatal some may be get confused what is peri we have learnt only prenatal and postnatal uh, somebody may have not have listened this word perinatal perinatal means at the time of birth at the time of birth okay and the third one is called postnatal development postnatal that means post birth after birth post birth development birth okay human growth can be studied can be explained into uh, divided which can be three to the prenatal perinatal and postnatal prenatal prenatal pre within when the baby is or the fetus is inside the mother's womb mother's uterus that is called prenatal that means before birth when it is not complete it has not completed 40 weeks so we know that general the gestation period means the period at which the since the conception till the birth since the conception till the birth the period is called what gestational period and in case of humans the gestational period is uh, nine months generally it's considered as nine months or 40 weeks you can say and during that period during that 40 weeks nine months it is called the prenatal period and at the time of birth when the, it is completed the 40 weeks are completed then it takes birth that birth period is called post uh, sorry what perinatal at the time of birth okay next is your postnatal postnatal you know that after the birth and throughout the lifespan that is called postnatal growth so this is what growth now how the growth and uh, take place conception take place we will go and discuss let us draw the figure
是 C。This is called uterus. This is called ovary. Ovary. This is called fallopian tube. Pian tube. Or other is called oviduct. Other name is called oviduct. Follow pantyu or oviduct. So this is called vagina, cervix, cervix, and this is okay. So see what happens. Actually, fertilization take place here. This is the site of fertilization or place of fertilization. This is the oviduct. The ovum comes in this way, and the sperm goes in this way. This is the father sperm. Sperm goes in this way, and eggs come this way. So they meet here. This is called the site of fertilization. So this is vagina. This is the cervix. So through this point, during the coitus, the male partner leaves millions of sperms. Millions of sperms. They enter into the vagina, through the uterus. They go. They goes. To the hairs, fallopian, the oviduct, which is called oviduct. Here the spot, only one spot. Though the male partner during the coitus releases millions, millions of spots, till only a single spot combines with a single ovum or single egg at the what? At oviduct or the fallopian tube, producing a zygote. That is called fertilization. As I have told you, the fusion of the process of fusion of male gamete into female gamete is called fertilization. So here fertilization takes place after fertilization conception period starts. The conception period starts. So here the uh, here the this is called fluid. So we can write sperm plus ovum. Ovum means egg. Egg is equal to zygote. Zygote. This is the future of baby. This is the future baby. That means sperm, ovum produces zygote, and this zygote is produced here. The zygote is produced here, and this zygote divides rapidly. Within the 24 hours of fertilization, within 24 hours of fertilization, so let what the zygote divide uh, divides very rapidly, producing what? 24 hours dividing rapidly producing a ball of cells called morula a ball of cells called morula and this morula again divides into blastocysts blastocysts okay next stage is your first stage your zygote next is your morula next is your blastocyst blastocyst structures like this you can see the uh, blastocysts so these are the cells These are cells, so these are the blastocyst structure. So at this stage, at this blastocyst stage, what happens? Here the blastocyst take place, here the zygote take place, here the morula take place. At what happened? After that, it enters into the uterus and stick to the walls of uterus. Stick to the walls of uterus, which is called implantation. The onset of the fallopian tube. This is your fallopian tube, and it comes to the uterus. And stick to the wall of uterus, endometrium of the uterus. There is one layer that is called endometrium, and in that layer it sticks, and that uh, process is called implantation. Here the baby grows. Here the baby stays for the 40 weeks. 40 weeks. Here the baby or the fetus grows 40 weeks. So friends, this is some basic idea. You need to remember. So this is the spore. This is the ovum. Here the meat. Here the fertilize. The morula. The blastula. The blastocyst. And this blastocyst they stick to the endometrium of the uterus wall, and that here which is called implantation. You uh, remember? Then we'll uh, go ahead.
तो अगेन लेट अस सी व्हाट हैपन स्पॉट प्लस ओवम ओवम इज इक्वल टू कॉल जाइगोट दिस इज 23 क्रोमोसोम्स हियर 23 क्रोमोसोम्स हियर 46 क्रोमोसोम्स दैट इज अ कंप्लीट सेल कंप्लीट सेल हियर दे आर कॉल्ड हैप्लोइड सेल्स this is also haploid cells this can be called as the diploid cells that means haploid plus haploid is equal to diploid as we know that human cells contain 46 chromosomes out of this 46 chromosome this is uh, contributed by the female part that is mother and this is contributed by the male part that is father so father plus mother is equal to 46 chromosomes mother contribute 23 chromosomes father contribute 23 chromosomes so together they form 46 chromosomes is it right to so see uh, this zygote this is a single cell and it divides rapidly and next stage it will be what morula next stage will be what blastocysts blastula then what happens this blastocyst sticks to the walls of the uterus of mother and at the 8 weeks 8th week and this is called uh, fat you see after 2 months average uh, perhaps 2 months when the cells it is called embryo this ball of cells is called embryo here is no organ structure is seen no organ is developed only a ball of mass of cells that is called embryo then it after the eighth weeks eighth week that is two months and 14th week that is eight weeks what happens it is called a fetus now the embryo is called fetus because it takes the fetus takes the shape of human shape of human shape of man here means the organs develops the organ uh, gradually appears here the gradually appears and this is called fetus at the eighth week at the eighth week is it right uh, that is two months here it is not two months perhaps it is two weeks perhaps so here eighth month eighth weeks two weeks it is converted into fetus so first is zygote Morula, blastula, blastocyte, embryo, then fetus. Then it continues to develop, grow inside the mother's womb, uterus, till birth. It continues to stay there up to 40 weeks. That period is called gestation period. To see, the fetus stage lives inside the mother's womb for 40 weeks. At that time, what happens the mothers uh, the fetus they has not developed his digestive system respiratory systems and excretory systems so everything is uh, conducted transported to mother's system that means through placenta that means the fetus takes its nutrition takes its food takes its oxygen everything from the mother's body through the placenta that is a connection between mother to child that means fetus and it also releases its excreted products its waste materials into the mother's body so this is very uh, important uh, period in that 40 weeks so during that period is uh, what a mother should eat what a mother should do or should not do like this everything is is under check if something happens that goes to the past to the fetus is it right so this is the what is this is the way how this development takes place inside the mother's body is it right so after gradually the organ system develops organ that is called organogenesis when organs develop then uh, gradually heartbeat starts heartbeat starts and the heartbeat can be followed, can be you know, uh, what listened with the uh, device. So, what that is uh, everything that takes place, this 
system that is called prenatal development which takes place inside the mother's womb or the mother's body or in the mother's uterus. So friends this is all about what called the prenatal development and the next class we will continue the what perinatal and postnatal development gradually. Okay. Thanks.